Hey guys, I'm Sam and I'm from giantpumpkins.co.nz, the website for growing giant pumpkins here in New Zealand. Today I'm talking about testing your pH level in your soil at home. And first, let's just quickly discuss what is pH level. pH level is the level of acidity or alkaline in the soil. The lower the number, the more acid there is. The higher the number, the more alkaline it is. Most plants prefer a range of between 5.5 and 6.5. For giant pumpkins, we're looking at probably around the 6.5 mark, somewhere around there. Different plants prefer different levels. When you do test your uh, garden or area, you've got a couple of options. You either amend the soil to match the plant, or you plant something that will like that type of soil slash pH level. How to get your pH level tested? Well, there's a couple of different uh, ways of doing that, and the best way is to get a soil test done. As well as pH level, you'll get a lot of different details back about all the nutrients contained within your soil. It'll give you an idea of how that soil's looking, and it gives you an opportunity to amend it to make that soil just right for whatever you're growing, be it giant pumpkins or maybe something else. The only downside to a soil test is probably the cost. Um, it's a bit more expensive than trying to do a pH test yourself, but luckily there's different uh, methods of doing that. So there's pretty much three different ways, no actually maybe four. You've got your at home pH test kit, which I'll be talking about today. Looks something like this will set you back around $20 um, and there's enough in here to do 30 tests so if you're only doing one a year or a couple a year this is going to last a long time. The next option is you can get pH uh, test paper if you remember that from high school that's more of a science side of things so uh, you need to look around for that. You would have also seen the um, pH soil indicators, it's like a probe that goes into the ground and then the dial moves and it'll tell you. As well as that there's an electronic version that you could possibly buy but that's getting quite up there in price and it's uh, what hydroponic growers actually use. So all these methods sort of differ but it'll give you a rough idea of what's going on. This is the pH soil testing kit, test the pH of your plants in it you'll find something like this. Next I'll show you what to do to make sure you can find out what your pH level is at home. We need to dig down about two inches or roughly five centimeters. We have to break up the soil down below up to five inches or around 12 centimeters and this is some of the soil that we're going to take. Now remember we're only just filling up that small uh, container in the soil pH test kit so we don't need too much. The trick is to go through this container here and uh, remove any large foreign matters, rocks, stones, pebbles, crush up this dirt a bit more and then let it naturally dry out in the sun. Okay, so now we've got the soil from out of the ground, we've made sure that um, foreign matters not included, we've removed all the stones and the big thing is you have to let this dry naturally. I've just put mine in an ice cream container and left it in the sun and it's nice and dry. The next step is to now test it and find out what the pH level is of this soil. So first we're going to fill up the uh, little empty container here uh, with the dirt up to the 1mm mark. Then we're going to add one scoop of uh, barium sulphate with this little tiny spoon to that mix and then we're going to fill it up to 2.5mm with the solution. We're going to shake it and then you have to wait the 10 minutes to allow it to settle and then we compare what's in the tube with the colour on the back of the booklet and that'll give us what the pH level is of the soil that we've tested. So there we go, once we've waited the 10 minutes the solution will have settled down and it's changed colour. Now that colour we have to match up to this to get a rough idea of what the pH level is in our soil. That's it there put it next to there, we can see it's sort of in that range there. So according to this, it's probably between 5.5 .5 
and six on the pH level. Now I've had the soil tested at the lab as well, and they've come back and told me it's 5.7. So it's reasonably accurate. It'll give you a good idea of what the pH level is in your soil, and then from there you can amend it with different products. And with a kit like this, you get to do it 30 times. So it's good value for money, and you can use it in other areas of your garden, not just giant pumpkins. So there we go, how to check your soil nice and easily. Uh, I'm Sam from giantpumpkins.co.nz. Thanks for checking out this video and make sure to check out the website to see what I'm up to with Giant Pumpkins this season.